thank you for introduction. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank, organi uh, thank organizers for invitation and for giving me a chance to give a talk here. It's uh, really my honor. Okay, let me start uh, my, uh, how to say, talk. Today, I would like to uh, 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 say, talk about the formation argument uh, for, how to say, essentially for scalar field equation. It's a rather uh, old topic, but uh, recently uh, I find some uh, new trick. And uh, so I would like to talk about uh, a new trick. Uh, and my talk is uh, based uh, on joint works with uh, Professor Silvia Singolani, Marco Ghiaro, and also with my colleague Jun Hirata and Norihisa Ikoma. Okay, let me start. And uh, uh, okay. in this talk, I would like to uh, introduce a new deformation argument, uh, which works in a, uh, rather in a special situation. And also, uh, she's a group action in the new type of palace male condition plays an important role. And uh, how to say, uh, my work is uh, largely motivated uh, with the work by Ballistic and Leons, and, and also it has uh, other applications. And uh, uh, first, I would like to put a focus on nonlinear scalar field equations. The equation is uh, like, uh, how to say, I think almost uh, uh, all uh, people here know that, um, this equation very well. And anyway, how to say, uh, here I would like to introduce you uh, Conditions on mm -hmm. GU. This is proposed by uh, uh, Berestiki and Leons, essentially. Anyway, uh, we assume space dimension is uh, greater than or equal to two. And we uh, have to say, assume the following four conditions. One is how to say, G is a continuous function. And the second one is uh, how to say, essentially, it has a subcritical growth. And also uh, G2 is about behavior near zero. And it's a negative, it has a negative gradient. And also uh, to say this is a, a kind of global condition. And uh, so the picture of G is something like uh, this picture. And uh, uh, this condition are very, I, I think a lot of the condition and uh, it's called almost, how to say, necessary and sufficient condition. And under these conditions, Blastic and Leons, and uh, this is for space dimension and greater or equal to three, and the Blastic Yaro and the Caviar, it is for n equal to two. They show the existence of positive solution firstly, and later, uh, and then second paper, they show uh, existence of infinitely many uh, possibly sign changing solutions in uh, for this program and they seek for radially symmetric solutions and uh, the approach is uh, how to say uh, they consider a constraint problem and uh, essentially uh, they try to minimize Dirichlet integral and the constraint so uh, how to say integrant of G cap g u is equal to one for space dimension is greater than three or for two equals zero. And this is a natural constraint uh, from positive identity. And they show uh, how to say uh, uh, this, let's see, uh, it has a minimizer and it's a positive solution. Uh, uh, it's uh, how to to positive solution after a suitable scaling like uh, this. Okay. Anyway, uh, I think uh, this theorem is a very general. And uh, when I started, uh, how to say, uh, study of uh, PDE, how to say, I like this theorem very much. And it covers two types of uh, nonlinearities like this. This is for something like nonlinear shading equation. And uh, this is something like Allenkorn equation. Anyway, uh, how to say, when I saw uh, 
this Bellestick and Leon cell, and I wondered how to say, uh, uh, is it possible or not to show this with a mountain pass cell? Okay, and anyway, uh, natural functional corresponding to this problem is uh, uh, this functional. And uh, my question is a probably stupid one. And uh, anyway, I tried to show uh, to show the existence of a uh, solution using mountain pass argument. And uh, this works, how to say, in bounded domain very well, but for in Rn, even if we have to, uh, we assume radial symmetry, it's not so easy. Anyway, how to say, easy, how to say, point is out, it, it's very easy to see I, you have a mountain pass structure. Mountain pass structure, I mean, at zero, this is zero, and there are small mountain around it, and somewhere outside the mountain, there is a native place. And so, uh, so, Anyway, it's very easy to see a mountain pass structure, but the difficulty is uh, how to say to check parasmer condition for this functional. And uh, anyway, I was not a good student. I tried and uh, I failed. So this is uh, as follows. Okay. So anyway, if we how to say uh, take a parasmer sequence, uh, it means how to say. I of uj tends to b as j tends to infinity. And we also assume i prime uj goes to zero uh, in the sense of uh, you are normal h1. This is a definition of h1 norm. But uh, under the uh, condition of Bresicki and Lyons, uh, since there is an almost no relation between cap z, uh, this is an integrand of a small g, and also there is no, how to say, good relation. So probably this is not enough to show boundaries in, uh, of uj or also strong convergence of uj. So uh, in general, it's difficult to show price mirror condition. Okay, so anyway, uh, so I try to find a new trick to deal with this situation. Okay, so anyway, there, there is a, some fact uh, uh, corresponding to Bellestick-Lyons theorem. We, I uh, found it with Jiang Jiang in 20, uh, 2002, and we show the following things. And uh, anyway, we find the uh, Bellestick-Lyons and or Bellestick-Yarrow-Cabian solution enjoy a mountain pass characterization. That means uh, let u zero be your solution, even by their constraint minimization. I mean, how to say they use a uh, constant minimization, and uh, and uh, uh, we need you to uh, use a suitable scaling to get a uh, solution. Anyway, such a solution has a can be characterized by mountain pass. It means energy level of either u is a b, and b is uh, defined by uh, minimax uh, value. This is uh, just a mountain path value. And this uh, family is a uh, uh, family of continuous path joining uh, zero and uh, uh, somewhere functional is negative, uh, probably outside of a uh, small ball. Okay, so, uh, Anyway, uh, it's rather difficult to show uh, existence of solution by mountain pass cell, but uh, uh, we can show uh, mountain pass characterization. So uh, I thought it's nice if we can find a way to get a, a solution by mountain pass directly. Anyway, uh, this uh, scalar field, nonlinear scalar field equation is a typical problem with the scaling and it uh, gives a, how to say, a very good institute uh, in, to other problems. So if we know uh, other way to approach this problem, maybe we can get, how to say, uh, 
we can solve some other problem. So I tried. Okay. Okay. So uh, aim of this talk is uh, uh, to give a positive answer to the question using a special deform uh, using special deformation argument under new type of price mail condition. Okay. And I also show uh, existence of infinitely many solutions. And uh, before I show you my uh, trick, uh, I will give a, a comment to preceding and related uh, works. Uh, I will uh, tell you later, and it's very uh, related to our information mm -hmm. argument is uh, how to say, uh, generation of PSP sequence. Uh, about the definition of PSP sequence, I will uh, give later. And anyway, uh, we generated a kind of special PS and um, Paris mail sequence at mountain pass level and also some minimax levels. Uh, each, uh, this fact is uh, firstly uh, used, to, how to say, uh, by Zhang Zhang in his paper for normalized solutions. But uh, how to say, I would like to say when he wrote this paper, uh, how to say, we shared office in the in, in school normally in Pisa. And uh, I, I think I helped him very much. And also uh, later, 10 years later, I wrote uh, how to say with Hirata and Ikoma about uh, how, how to say uh, such, uh, such a trial uh, for nonlinear scalar field equation, it's a typical problem. And, uh, if, and we show uh, how to say uh, uh, through a mountain pass, in some sense, we uh, succeed to uh, get a solution, but uh, for infinitely many solutions, uh, my technique is very complicated and, uh, and this uh, it's not so clear and um, it's not so difficult, but uh, it's not so direct. And also there are many approaches to use the mountain pass cell. And one is I think uh, uh, to use a uh, so-called Stuway's Montussi trick. So uh, firstly, uh, we part of the function a little bit to, adding some something like L2 norm. And for almost all, how to say, a small part of the we can find a bounded parismere sequence. And, uh, and for part of the equation, we can find a solution. And uh, after getting some a priori good superior estimate we can pass to the limit and uh, we can also in some sense uh, uh, get a solution through the mountain pass using the mountain streak. But uh, how to say, I think I like this method very much, but uh, we need to uh, part of the equation a little bit. So uh, I would like to uh, find a uh, more direct method. And also recently, uh, many people use a positive manifold or uh, natural constraint to get a, a solution. Uh, and the, I think it, this is also a good idea. And finally, uh, uh, here is three papers. One is with Hirata and myself and he command myself and the Professor Simran and myself, in which, how to say, we de uh, developed a deformation argument in augmented spaces. And this gives, uh, how to say, in some sense, a, a direct proof of uh, existence of solution uh, through mountain pass cell. OK, so mainly we, uh, today, we, I would like to concern about uh, uh, this paper, this is of, for nonlinear uh, scalar field equations. Okay, so uh, I would like to talk about the function for under PSP condition. 
And uh, I would like to uh, set up the uh, problem, rather abstract setting. And uh, we consider how to say Hilbert space with a physical action. And we consider functional uh, uh, C1 function, which is dependent on uh, Hilbert space. Now, of course, we can generalize uh, this situation a little bit. This, uh, we can deal also deal with Banach space and or Banach manifold. Anyway, uh, uh, other conditions are rather, I have to say, special. I would like to introduce you. First assumption uh, is uh, just how to say there is a C0 group action. This is, this is a usual C0 group action. And the second condition is a rather tricky one. Okay, so anyway, we have to say, uh, consider product space, our uh, product E, and we write it M, and uh, we regard M as a Hilbert manifold. And we uh, introduce metric by this form formula. And we assume uh, this metric is of class C2. I think this is very tricky condition. Since we assume uh, this action is just, uh, how to say, this is Caesar action. So we assume uh, this map is uh, just continuous. But, uh, okay, so here we request uh, this uh, metric is of class C2. And so this is a rather tricky situation, but uh, later I will give you an example. And also, uh, a, uh, I would like to introduce a functional with this formula. This is a functional defined on this product space. And uh, I define, so theta is a real number and, the, and the U in E. And the, so this is a, uh, in some sense, scale. And we consider how to say functional with two variables. Okay, so since we assume the, how to say this, this action is just C0, usually this is just, this should be continuous. But here we assume uh, this function is of C1 on the manifold. Okay, and so this, these two assumptions are very tricky assumption. But this uh, works to understand, for example, nonlinear scalar field equation. And uh, under uh, this assumption, we introduce a positive functional PU uh, by, in this way, PU is, uh, so since uh, this is C1, we differentiate with C10 and we plug in this. And uh, so this is a kind of a, a PU equals zero is a uh, positive identity, and I would like to call this functional positive functional. And now I would like to introduce PSP condition. Okay, so let it be the real number, and I would like to introduce you a PSP B uh, condition. This is a condition like this. Assume uh, UJ satisfies these three conditions. Uh, first condition and second condition says just uh, these are uh, uh, parallel sequence. But here I would like to add PJ, so positive function goes to zero. And I would like to assume uh, so you, if UJ satisfies these three conditions, UJ has a strongly convergent subsequence in D. And uh, I uh, uh, also call UJ is a PSP big sequence if UJ satisfies these three conditions. So it's a just a hard to say, a parasmale sequence with this additional condition. And uh, I would like to uh, introduce a notation uh, KB. This is a critical set, but here I have to say require PU equals zero. So this is a smaller set than usual uh, critical set. And also I would like to introduce a, a notation like uh, this. This is a level set of, um, notation. It is, uh, okay, so this is not how to say uh, standard, but uh, I think you can understand it quickly. Okay. And this, uh, our deformation for uh, theorem is as follows. Okay, so, assume how to say this tricky condition about the group action. 
and we assume PSP holes, <clears throat> then we can see KB is compact in K. So this is a critical set uh, also requesting a causal identity. And for any uh, neighborhood O of KB and for any uh, epsilon bar, there exists a epsilon and continuous map. It, uh, this is a deformation flow that is that the uh, first condition is a uh, so I think uh, these are standard and uh, so maybe uh, I don't need to explain precisely. So anyway, uh, when T equals zero, this is identity and for lower level, this is constant. And also this is all always uh, decreasing. And also, uh, so except a neighborhood of critical set, uh, it, so uh, this decreases also this set is mapped to this set. And if KB is uh, empty, if, so it means that there is no critical point to uh, satisfying positive identity. Uh, this level set is mapped to, uh, sorry, uh, this should be plus. Okay, so, and also, if K is a even functional, uh, this gives us how to say uh, flow is also uh, is a, a oh, so uh, we can use different deformation uh, instead of usual deformation to show uh, existence of critical point. Okay, so since uh, our assumption of phi is a tricky one, I will have to give an example. It's for uh, in a scalar field equation. Okay. Okay, so we set is a radially symmetric H1 function. And also we use a Caesar group option phi theta with this formula. So this is just a scaling, so with a E theta. And we can, of course, we consider this function, which is corresponding to uh, nonlinear scalar field equation. And so about the tricky condition, I would like to write a norm. Uh, so since the definition of norm is uh, something like this. So here, this is a phi theta H1. So we can compute uh, uh, using rescaling uh, in this way. And also we can compute this guy in this way. Uh, so, we can easily uh, compute this one in this way. So with this formula, uh, you can see uh, this norm is uh, of class maybe C infinity. And also uh, this functional is uh, of class about, uh, C1. So uh, this uh, functional uh, is set, uh, setting satisfies our assumption. And about the uh, uh, con uh, positive functional, uh, just uh, how to say, this is a derivative of uh, uh, this with the difference to theta, and we plug in theta equals zero. So we have PU like this. If we set equals zero, this is uh, just a positive functional, uh, positive identity. Okay. okay so, and also, uh, as I uh, said before, uh, it's a rather difficult to check polysmer condition, but uh, for PSP, it's very easy to check. Anyway, so if UJ is a PSP uh, sequence, it satisfies uh, this condition. This is a first two is a just a polysmer condition. And the third one is a, a good, good how to say, positive identity, positive function for to zero. Since uh, we combine this guy, number four, uh, formula four and formula six, we can get a, a, a boundedness of gradient U in the, uh, this uh, integration of the cap G U J. Okay, so there, and of course we need uh, some computation, but uh, uh, it's not so difficult and we can say uh, U J is uh, bounded. And also we can uh, extract a strongly combined sub sequence in this radially symmetric super uh, space. So uh, now, uh, uh, the Kirion theorem is uh, 
easily be used from our deformation theorem. So, also, we can get the existence of infinitely solutions via symmetric mountain pass theorem. Okay, so, uh, uh, sorry, uh, in the remaining time, I would like to uh, give you uh, uh, how to uh, prove the deformation theorem. It's a little bit tricky, and but uh, uh, I think the idea is nice. Uh, idea is uh, natural. Okay. So anyway, uh, idea is that we use uh, this how to say uh, functional J, and we consider in the product space this one. So original functional space is uh, E, but we add one dimension and we consider in product space, and we consider the formation uh, in this product space. And uh, anyway, uh, we have the following pro uh, properties from the definition of uh, J theta U. Anyway, uh, J theta is uh, just a uh, rescaling of I in some sense. So it's a very good relation with I. Anyway, uh, I J U is uh, like this. And also, since this is a group action, we have this. And also, uh, if we differentiate it with theta, we have this, uh, we use here, and this. Okay, so anyway, uh, important thing is that if we differentiate with respect to theta, we get a positive functional. And also, if we differentiate with respect to I, I u, we have, uh, anyway, we have something like this, and just a uh, since the theta is a group action, we have this. Uh, in particular, writing uh, d equals d theta and du, we can write d du theta is uh, just like uh, uh, like this. So about uh, differentiation with respect to theta, we have a positive functional. And the differentiation with respect to u, we have a uh, original i prime. Anyway, so with the theta, this is shifted in this way. Since uh, we have to say introduce a metric with this formula, we can see uh, differentiation uh, with respect to J uh, at theta U is uh, uh, just like this. So this is uh, just a uh, differentiation of the original functional and also positive functional. Okay. And now we set, uh, uh, so since we consider uh, the formation uh, argument in product space, we also introduce a critical set in a pro uh, product space. So th this is a, a K KB children is a, how to say, just a critical set at level B for J. Uh, here, how to say, there is no uh, condition related to positive. It's included in differentiation with respect to theta here. And we also consider a uh, liberal set like this. Okay. Anyway, uh, please note that uh, if uh, theta u belongs to KB Childa, this is nothing but uh, K theta u belongs to KV, original critical set with a positive identity. And also, uh, KB Childa is empty if and only if KB is empty. Anyway, uh, with this relation, we can uh, easily see the following relation. Okay, anyway, we assume condition phi in the uh, PSPB. Then firstly, if we assume uh, KJ, UJ is a parasmere uh, sequence for augment functional J, then uh, we have uh, from here and here, we can see uh, uh, from, sorry, since uh, this goes to zero, this means a uh, uh, positive function goes to zero for shifted this one, and for so I prime go to zero. So this means you, uh, Fj uj is a PSP sequence. And so uh, by the condition PSPB, this is has a strongly convergent subsequence. In particular, uh, Kb equals zero is uh, not empty. So limit of this belong, must be belongs to critical set. And conversely, if a uh, critical set is uh, uh, 
empty, then uh, this KB tilde is also empty. So then uh, there exists a there is a zero such as that for a small uh, delta zero. If uh, J is between B minus delta zero and B plus delta zero, this is how to say in some sense gradient is, is a has a positive lower bound. Okay. Okay. So uh, for the sake of uh, simplicity, I would like to consider the case KB for uh, empty set. And uh, we would like to uh, make a proof of the formation of theorem. So first step is uh, we uh, construct a deformation flow for J in product space. Okay, so, so since we uh, assume KB equals zero, uh, we would like to find uh, something like this. And such a deformation is uh, uh, very easy to obtain using an uh, ordinary differential equation in product space like this. Here, uh, this is a should gradient vector field and also associated to this functional and uh, this phi is a uh, suitable part of function, okay? And so anyway, uh, uh, for theta u, uh, which uh, value of j is close to b, uh, this is a, how to say, we have this lower bound. So uh, we know the direction uh, to which uh, functional j decreases. So uh, using uh, how to say standard, uh, standard argument in the, we can find uh, such a deformation for J in product space. Okay, so now, okay, so anyway, uh, uh, so in some sense, we project uh, uh, and we obtain a flow. Anyway, we for, first we obtain a flow in product space along this, uh, J decreases, and also uh, since uh, there is a projection, so using a group action, and uh, if we uh, take a how to say some kind of uh, a kind of projection like this, so this is a so using a, this uh, how to say relationship, then we can get a, a desired flow, and. Uh, we can give a proof of the formation uh, member. Okay, so I will like to give some corollary and remarks. And uh, anyway, the first corollary is uh, if we have uh, uh, this function P and PSPB, and uh, anyway, if KB is zero, then uh, this for epsilon small, uh, this set is deformable to uh, for lower level structure. Anyway, uh, I think this corollary is uh, rather interesting. Anyway, in, in this how to say corollary, KB is uh, not a critical set. Uh, it's a critical set with positive identity. And uh, here I uh, consider just a nonlinear scalar field equation. So any solution satisfies a positive identity. So this is not uh, so interesting, but if we consider fractional equations, uh, in some situation, it's very difficult to check positive identity. But uh, how to say, uh, this corollary says uh, critical point without positive identity does not contribute a topology of a uh, level set. So I, I think uh, for all solution obtained through me max um, uh, satisfies a positive identity. And uh, probably it's difficult to find a solution without solar design identity. And also uh, probably four is a, uh, uh, to say, uh, uh, so about the generation of PSP sequence. Anyway, if this uh, tricky condition holds, and if B comes from some Emacs method, then, uh, since there is a 
there should be a topological change between B plus epsilon and B minus epsilon. So uh, uh, if uh, PSPB uh, holds, there should be a critical uh, point at the level of PB. But if uh, this does not hold, we can find the PSPB sequence. So, <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, how to say, what we did uh, uh, about uh, 10 years ago. Okay, anyway, uh, so uh, the, uh, under this PSP condition, the formation uh, works. Uh, sorry, uh, it's time. So anyway, I have to say, uh, plan to give her uh, another application. One is a nonlinear shortcut equation. In the, in the same way, um, but uh, computation and estimates are more complicated, but uh, we can use uh, this idea. And uh, I plan to um, uh, introduce you my joint work with uh, Singurani. And uh, I'm very sorry, there is misspell. Yarrow and myself and also for normalized solutions. And also there are another, how to see application about uh, nonlinear application in three private domains, something like this. So in this case, group action is a, uh, uh, say something like this. And uh, with this action, we can also use uh, the formation Argument. I would like to stop here and thank you very much. <laughs>